Hey guys, today we're going to know if Taylor Swift and Alexander Skarsgård dated. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's take a trip back in time to 2013. Alexander Skarsgård, Meryl Streep, and Taylor Swift have all been cast in the film adaptation of The Giver, and fans are wondering who Alexander will be dating next. Fans began to suspect Alex Skarsgård was dating Taylor Swift, who had just broken up with Robert Kennedy's grandson, Connor Kennedy, at the time. At that time, many people were overjoyed to learn that the young adult novel, The Giver, would be adapted into a film. There would also be a star-studded cast that included Alexander Skarsgård, Meryl Streep, Katie Holmes, and Taylor Swift. Things started to get interesting now that Alexander is known to have a thing for dating his co-stars, and Taylor appears to have a thing for older guys. As a result, fans began to suspect that they might be dating for a while. Several sources stated at the start of their relationship that the couple had a couple of dinners in LA before heading to Cape Town to begin filming the movie. It also helped that Jeff Bridges insisted on creating a close-knit environment among the cast. Alexander told Time at that time, Jeff created an atmosphere where we really bonded and we hung out. He continued, we would throw these big dinner parties. Alexander Skarsgård also revealed that he frequently had jam sessions with his new love Taylor Swift. People take turns playing the piano and singing, he said. He also described the event as really lovely. Alexander Skarsgård and Taylor Swift spent some time together in Cape Town, grabbing a meal here and there. The couple has been seen arriving and leaving the restaurant for several dinners and lunches with their co-workers. A lot of people also think that Taylor Swift's Wildest Dreams is about the actor. 1989 by Taylor Swift was a complete masterpiece. Like any other Taylor album, it was filled with songs dedicated to her ex-boyfriends that she wrote and composed herself. Among the songs rumored to be about Harry Styles and Calvin Harris, fans were convinced that one was about the hunky handsome actor Alexander Skarsgård. And it was, indeed, Wildest Dreams. After Taylor released the music video for Wildest Dreams, many fans were convinced. Taylor wore brunette black hair in the video, just like she did in the film. Furthermore, the video was shot in Africa, the same location where The Giver was filmed. Fans also referred to Wildest Dreams lyrics, specifically he's tall and handsome as hell, noting that Alexander is 6'4 tall and, well, he is handsome as hell. Alexander Skarsgård and Taylor Swift would unquestionably make an adorable couple, if only they actually dated. Yes, after the rumor spread, a representative for Taylor Swift debunked it, claiming that the stories were completely fabricated. Her rep said Taylor never met Alexander before she arrived in South Africa. They concluded they're not dating. Several reports claim Taylor acted like a giddy schoolgirl around Alex. According to the statement, Alexander moved on and fell in love with British actress Alexa Chung two years after Taylor's representative statement. Taylor Swift, meanwhile, began dating Harry Styles for several months around the same time. Today, Taylor is in a relationship with actor Joe Alwyn for quite some time now. Taylor Swift's romance with actor Joe Alwyn is her most serious yet secretive to date, and the pair have been the famously private relationship that has kept the public hooked since around 2016. Swift and Alwyn have diligently kept the intimate details of their relationship under wraps for the past six years, a departure from Swift's infamously criticized and highly publicized romantic history, particularly her 2016 stint with Calvin Harris. Nonetheless, the singer has managed to incorporate elements of her romance with Alwyn into her music over the years, referencing the actor in a slew of songs and albums dating back to 2017, according to fan speculation. More recently, in a clip on Instagram, the singer shares an analysis on the meaning behind her song Lavender Haze from her album Midnights that surrounds the nature of her romance with Alwyn. Swift said in the video, Like my relationship for six years, we've had to dodge weird rumors, tabloid stuff, and we just ignore it. Swift then added, and so this song is sort of about the acting of ignoring that stuff to protect the real stuff. She also expands on the inspiration behind the song's title, saying, If you were in the lavender haze, then that meant that you were in that all-encompassing love glow, and I thought that was really beautiful. Meanwhile, Alexander Skarsgård has been in a romantic relationship with some of Hollywood's most well-known actresses. Some of these relationships have been confirmed, while others are just rumors. However, his relationship is doomed to fail in the long run. The actor has never hidden his desire to marry, and in an interview, he stated that he would like to settle down with and have as many as nine children someday. His most recent relationship was with model Tony Garn, Leonardo DiCaprio's ex-girlfriend in 2020. Some sources claim that it was the first time that they met each other. Alexander also found love in May 2015 with British actress Alexa Chung. The two were seen holding hands as they walked through the station. In July 2017, the couple called it quits after two years together. However, after their divorce, the couple's reconciliation rumors gained traction after they were spotted together in London and later in New York. Alexander and Alexa's on-again, off-again relationship ended in 2020, and they appeared to have broken up. 
That's all for today. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.